All right, Coach, from one of the loudest venues in the NFL, there's a look at Arrowhead Stadium here in Kansas City. A few short moments ago, these two teams made their way out of the Arrowhead Stadium tunnels, and the noise level in this place was just about off the charts. They're set for football as the Chiefs get set to do battle with Andy Dalton and the Cincinnati Bengals. First and ten for Dalton. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. You get a tight end like this, and you know he's used to dishing out punishment, but here, he's the one that has to absorb the contact, and as a result, unable to hold on to the football. Once again, they'll come up on the 26-yard line, second and ten. Passing again, Dalton on second and ten. And he comes back with one complete. And he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. He got 29 yards that time. But when you hit him on the move like that, and he's able to get into open field with a full head of steam, oh, boy, it's going to be tough to get him down. Yeah, there was a big window. They're lucky they did get him down. So now first and ten in Chiefs territory at the 45-yard line. Now a first carry from Giovanni Bernard. And he's going to be met at about the 43. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. And this is why aggressive defense coordinators love to blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D linemen to make the play. Snap came at one. Now here's Dalton. Green's got it over the middle. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. The reception good for seven. It's third down. One thing we do know, he's going to get his catches. So as they move forward defensively, got to continue to focus on not giving up the big play when he does catch the ball in the secondary. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he's got the first as they'll bring him down at the 28-yard line. It goes as a gain of eight, and it moves the chains. Had a chance to maybe limit them to three if they could have gotten that stop there, but a new set of downs. And with a new set of downs, you got to take the mentality of the whole thing. Right now, everyone's looking at the offense and saying they've got the advantage. The best defenses just say, okay, new set of downs gives us another chance to make the play ourselves and maybe change things up. And the catch made, it's Tyler Boyd. And he'll be brought down at the 21, just shy of the 20 in the red zone. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. 10 yards there on a Bengal first. Quite the opening drive march they're on right now. It looks a lot like what we saw in practice prior to the game, doesn't it? You know, because on that last big practice beforehand, you go through your offensive script, you go through your play calling, you go through all the stuff and establish things, and it looks like it's going like clockwork right now for them. Now Dalton with a first and ten. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. Tyler Boyd, the former Pitt Panther, was the target. And that'll bring up second down. I know coaches tell us all the time that having a powerful arm isn't the number one thing they look for in a quarterback. But when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, it helps to have the big gun. In this case, just a little bit too much. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. To throw again. Dalton. Over the middle, and it's incomplete. Giovanni Bernard, the intended receiver out of the backfield. And it's third down. The touch and time there critical for those types of throws. He put a lot of zip on that one. Needed just a little bit more finesse trying to get it to his back. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have him looking at third and ten. Out of 
the gun. It's Dalton. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. That's a good job there, creating the contact to force the incompletion. And now, since it's fourth down, that should set up a field goal situation. And a nice sigh of relief defensively to be able to hold them to three. Here's Randy Bullock now as he'll go for the field goal. And Bullock will put this one through. And the Bengals are on the board first here. It's 3-0. So a nice opening drive on the road. You get the three points. Part of you wonders if that might hurt them later not getting into the end zone. Well, the good thing is, still first quarter, and they did come out of it with points. In a sense, they could look at it positively and say, hey, we set the pace in this one. I think that's how they'll go about it. After the field goal now, it's Bullock to kick it away. This is taken at the three. Then he'll take this across the 25. Couple extra yards up to the 27 yard line. And now here comes Kansas City. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 27. First carry now for Kareem Hunt. And not a whole lot doing there as he'll get it up to about the 28-yard line. Tackle made that time by Michael Johnson. Well, they held him to a short gain on that one, and it almost felt like on that first run, they were trying to just throw the jab at him. So how do you stop a jab? Get closer and smother it, just as they did on that last play. Mahomes to throw on second down toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. Sammy Watkins, the intended target, and it'll bring up third down. But not to get too overcritical there because he knows what he's doing, but his shoulders looked a little off kilter there when he threw that. I don't think you're being overly critical there. You're just analyzing it, and he gets those shoulders right. That pass will go from incomplete to complete. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. Mahomes going to throw. And this is going to be incomplete. Nice play there to force the incompletion. And to me, one thing's for sure. When you're the underdogs and you're playing on the road, you absolutely have to get takeaways. You've got to get the ball from them. Yeah, win that turnover battle going to be key. They didn't get one there, but you get the feeling they keep making plays like that. They might just get a few. Yeah, once you get one, defensive teams think they come in bunches. Colquitt on the kick as he sends it away. This is taken at about the 14. Nice job bringing that one back. 14 on the return. And the Bengals will take over here first and 10. The ball switching back over to Cincinnati here, and they are 3-1 and one through four weeks of the NFL season. Had a big road win last week in Atlanta. You know, it's interesting. It's the first time that A.J. Green and Julio Jones matched up since they were drafted back in 2011. Yeah, A.J. Green went fourth, obviously, to Cincinnati. Julio Jones sixth to Atlanta after Atlanta moved up big in that draft to select him. Julio had 173 yards receiving, but looks like A.J. got the last laugh. Not only did his team win the game, Green had a 13-yard touchdown with seven seconds remaining to give them the winning margin. But how about Tyler Eifert, mm. the tight end for Cincinnati? What a tough injury, and we can only send our best wishes to him on his recovery. Dalton throwing on second down, and the Chiefs are going to get him. Brandon, if I'm an offensive coordinator and I see an all-out rush like that, I file it away because I'm going to use their aggressiveness against them as this game goes on. I'm going to hit them with a screen soon. So the sack, and now it's third and long for Dalton and the Bengals. Dalton here from the gun. He's going to air it out deep for Green. Oh, a ball batted in the air, and now it's intercepted. Picked off by the safety here, Ron Parker. Oh, and that's a nice job defensively to get a piece of the football. He's going to pop it into the air, 
and then it's the tip drill. And good concentration by him to react to it and pull in the interception. And he'll be limited to a short gain up to about the 34-yard line. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Early down stuffs to put this offense in a precarious position. We know that securing the point of attack, especially against the big-bodied guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. Now Mahomes throwing on second down. And his throw is going to be incomplete. His favorite target, Travis Kelsey, the intended receiver. And it's third down. Well, too much oomph. Too much mustard there on that pass. Yeah, really turned it loose, didn't he? Really cut loose with that one. Sharp, strong. Didn't lead to a completion, though. Made it very difficult. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. Working from the gun, Mahomes. And some space here. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. A gain of 19 in picking up the first. They go play action here on first down. Oh, incomplete. The rookie had it and lost it there. And it'll be second down. Tremendous coverage there. Just did not catch the football and complete the interception. But what do they say all the time? If he had really good hands, he'd be playing offense. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest game. Give him four on the ground there. They're now left with third and six. And that was a good run. This was only one of nine guys to go over 1,000 yards in 2017. And I think you can't let him run wild here. What do you think, 100 yards, the measuring stick? Always. That is the threshold. You want to keep him under that if you want to play good defense. Throwing is Mahomes on third. And it's complete to Kelsey. And they're able to get this one past the 30 down to the 25. And the play goes for 19 yards. Gives him a new set of downs. Took him five tries, but he is able to complete that first pass of the game. And could you hear the exhale all the way up here? <laughs> Not just from him, coaching staff, offensive line, receivers. Nice off the schneid. Can they get him going in a nice groove where he becomes a little more consistent throwing the football? Because yeah, you miss those first two, but you get up the 0 for, 4, 0 for 4 range. That can be a little tricky, but able to settle in, hopefully. Yeah, now you won't have any confidence issues. Now you can kind of get it back, even with just one throw. Now they need 15 yards on this series after the delay of game. First and 15. Here we go. Three. They'll run it now out of the gun. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there. Second down. One advantage having a lead guy in the middle of the defensive line because not only does he take up the space and let the linebackers run free, but he can also make plays himself as we just saw there. Play fake there to Hunt. Now Mahomes. Ooh, the juke. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Michael Johnson. He's the one that got to him. He takes him down for a loss of nine. But well, nothing takes a start to have a good drive. Quite like a big loss on a sack, does it? No, now they're looking at a third and long, and suddenly the momentum shifted to the other side of the football. And old Mo is a very, very fickle man. Going to need better protection here. Third and long following the sack for Mahomes and company. Mahomes now to throw. Throw left side complete. That's Hunt. And he'll go down at the 28. They do get 10 back, but still a ways to go on fourth. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware, a ball may come your way. 
Now Harrison Butker for the field goal try. Spotted at the left hash, this from 45. And Butker able to put this one through. And that will tie us at 3-3. So in the end, they had the ball for 10 plays, but the drive gets them three, not six. Is it okay if I give credit to both sides on this one? Absolutely. All right, let's start defensively. They hung in there. 10-play drive, but they stiffened when they got close to the goal line, made them kick a field goal. And for the offense, 10-play drive. They might be a little disappointed they got a field goal, but they moved the ball down the field with dispatch and came away with points. So a tie ball game here as the kick's away. This is fielded at the goal line. And he'll get it up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Cincinnati now ready to take the field. So here's Dalton and the Bengals now, first and 10 at their own 22. Lee, Lee. They'll begin here with Bernard. Chris Jones on the stop. Yeah, that wasn't a big run, just a short one there. But guess what? Sometimes you treat it like boxing. You throw that jab out there, and you throw it again, you throw it again, then you come with a big punch later. Maybe they're just trying to set them up. Second down, Dalton. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Boyd. And he'll get to the 29-yard line brought down there. Now the Bengals on third down, just one for three thus far. This is third and four. From the gun, Dalton looks to throw. Open man is Uzama. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. It's a Bengal first down, a pickup of 11. And there's another completion to the tight end. And let's face it, it is hard to overthrow. A six foot six inch target. <laughs> it is indeed. Quarterbacks like their speed guys. They like that huge six six target that they've got in him. They really do. And it, it reminds me of what one great tight end told me once. He had told his quarterback, just make sure you throw it up there. You know, kind of like put it up on the top shelf where the kids can't get it. And this time they were ready for him as they'll stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Perfectly designed blitz right there. They took that one from the grease board to the field because they were able to free up their linebacker to get into the backfield and spill the play. The rush defense stout on first down. Here's second and 10 from the 20. They just do get the playoff as he'll look to throw. And caught right side, Green. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. They'll get nine there as that sets them up better for third down. The Bengals on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This time they face a third and two. They give to Mixon to try to pick it up. And he'll lose yardage here back at the 47. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. I know the scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker. What that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. So on fourth down, on comes the left-footed punter, Kevin Huber, to punt it away. The Chiefs offense now making their way back onto the field. And last time, able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. 
Just, I, I like the way you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball Green, in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for Green, six. They'll begin the drive with Hunt. And tough going there as he'll only get it up to about the 31. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Well, he hasn't made much of an impact in the running game thus far, and after that last run, not much is going to change in that area. He hasn't been able to get anything going, and really the offensive line not helping him much. Mahomes going to hand it off to Hunt and hit behind the line. He lost the football. It's loose. Wow. That ball gets knocked free, but a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like, it's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people are on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home. The next guy comes through and picks him up. And avoids the turnover. Mahomes looks to throw on third down. And he's going to drop this off to his fullback. First down for the Chiefs. Solid chunk of yardage, 17 on the play. And the big guy catches the ball out of the backfield, and oftentimes it's quite a surprise to the guys playing defense because not ordinarily thought as a pass catcher, it often works when they decide to dial it up. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he was able to shed the tackle, but the reserves come in for the stop. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down, a very solid gain on that play. Second down, here's Mahomes. His throw incomplete. He was trying to get it to Tyreek Hill that time. And now it's third down. Well, they're slinging it. And then there's one you got to put a timer on, huh? I mean, that one came in hot. It came in hot, but overthrown out of his reach and incomplete. And now on third down, they'll need to get it to the 36 to pick up the first. From the gun, it's Mahomes, and that is incomplete. Let's face it, perfection is something we all chase, whether it's playing this game or whatever we do. Hard to attain, but that's what they were searching for as that pass goes incomplete. Here's Dustin Colquitt now, as he's on to punt for Kansas City. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. And out now, here come the Bengals. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? Now a play fake here on first down. Boyd's the target, and he has it over the middle. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets this football out shy of the 30 to the 29. One thing I can say pretty safely, that route is not called if you don't have a guy who can throw the ball and put some mustard on it. Because if you're going to lollipop it in the middle of the field, bad things usually happen. It takes a strong-armed guy who can rifle it in there, and they were able to successfully complete that one. Dalton, first and 10. The attempt on the dive, and he has it. What a catch. That one good for 15, and the Bengals get a first down. I know a retirement ceremony is a rocking chair is often one of the major gifts, but don't give this guy one just yet. He may be plus 30, but my goodness, how about that effort? Yeah, he's not that old. Hey, I'm on the wrong side of 32. <laughs> you, you, you okay? You feeling all right? <laughs> I'll be all right. Okay, good. I just need some chocolate and a box of tissues. <laughs> Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. D Ford. He's the one that got to him. He takes him down for a loss of nine. 
Now we talk about players blitzing all the time. I often laugh and sometimes call it just straight ahead pursuit. What a running start right back to the backfield for him. Yeah, it really didn't give anybody a chance to get up there and stop him. No, I mean, that's really, really difficult. You're asking a whole lot anyway, but when he gets that kind of a start and comes through clean, oftentimes the advantage definitely goes to the defensive player. They get two yards back, but they're going to need a lot more than that here on third down. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense, and guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. Third and long. What will Dalton dial up? That's caught by his tight end, Uzelma. And oh, he's going to be brought down by the face mask. Here come the flags. This is going to get him a first down. So they'll take the yardage and tack on 15 more for the face mask. Talk about a play that absolutely costs you in the end. Just trying to do your job, right? Trying to get him on the ground. Next thing you know, they'll march off another 15 against your squad. So the yellow flag came out, and that leads to a new set of downs for this offense, first and 10. After the penalty, it's Mixon. He'll fight forward for a couple down inside the 40. Well, he's looking for some running room, and there wasn't a whole lot of it there on that play. I think he was lucky to get a couple yards out of it because those defenders, they were rallying to the football pretty quickly. On second down, here's Mixon, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. They'll lose a yard, and it brings up third. He came out ready to play. That's three tackles for a loss, Charles. We're only in the second quarter. And that's problematic for the guys trying to run offense because that means he's got a pretty good idea of what they're doing and is actually beating them to the point of attack and making those plays. Might have to think about some misdirection or something to try and get him away from the ball. To throw here, Dalton. Wide open receiver complete. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. That one goes for 29 yards on third down. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. That's going to set him back five yards. The delay of game backs him up five, first and 15. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. That time, the right guard sending him backwards. And so many different types of guys rotate in on the defensive line now, depending on situations. You can get the bulky guy, the fast guy. No matter what, though, you can't hold him. Dalton with a give here to Mixon. And he went nowhere. He'll lose yardage back to the 29. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. Anytime you call an inside running play, you just know there should be a lot of congestion there. You're counting on your offensive line to take control of the line of scrimmage. That didn't happen in this case, and that play got bottled up. It's second down. Dalton looking. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. Anytime a defense can sit back in a zone like that, it tends to create a lot of congestion in the middle of the field. Makes it very hard to slot one in. Looked like I-4 at rush hour in your hometown of Orlando, Florida. An absolute mess. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. 
From the gun, Dalton. The ball comes out. And this is going to get out of bounds. So they will gain a bit of yardage on the play, actually. And they'll hold on to the football as well. I don't know about you, but I could hear and feel the sigh of relief all the way up here in our booth. That was palpable. The sideline, the friend there. No doubt about it. Ball goes over the sideline, able to retain possession, no turnover. <laughs> I know his coaches are screaming, just hang on to the ball, man. And Bullock will put this one through, and they will take the lead here in this battle of field goals. It's 6-3. to three. So we're trading first half field goals. No breakthrough on the touchdown front. We've got a 6-3 game. Yeah, and I know so many people look at a game through offensive eyes, right? They want to see how the game's played that way. You know how I'm going to view it, right? The defenses, to me, have responded well in this game. Like what I'm seeing from them, both of them hoping to keep it to field goals and not give up big touchdowns. After the field goal now, it's Bullock to kick it away. This will be taken in at the one. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. And now here comes Kansas City. They punted last time they had it. What steps, Charles, do you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? Well, let's just go to the football 101, the trite expression 101. Win first down. Make five, six, seven yards on first down and make it a second and three, second and manageable. Keep accumulating first downs that way. Keep moving the football. Then we'll get behind the sticks because then the defense has the advantage. Now here's Mahomes. He'll leave it for Hunt complete. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. They'll wind up losing three yards here. And that'll make this a second and 13. Under four to go now as the clock runs and they come up on second down. They'll run it here with Hunt. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. Call it a loss of two on the play. And they're going to face an uphill battle here on third and long. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off by the Alabama man, Drake Kirkpatrick. Well, they didn't exactly show patience there, did they? Just down the score, they come out firing right away and compound things by throwing an interception. They put their defense in a really tough spot. Mixon with a first down carry. And yeah, he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. It'll be a loss of one, and it'll be second and 11. Uh, that's a tough one right there. He ran right into the teeth of the blitz as the linebacker was freed up in order to stuff that one for a loss. I think quarterbacks got to see that. Got to find a way to audible into something a little more advantageous. A handoff to Mixon. Heck of a move, and then brought down near the 23. Give him seven yards on the carry, and it will take us to the two-minute warning. Three down, three down. A third field goal of the first half, not what they're looking for as they come up on third down. Third down from the gun, Dalton. And it's incomplete, almost intercepted. He had a great shot of picking that off in the end zone. It brings up fourth down. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? The zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. And Bullock will put this one through. And they continue to lead in the battle of field goals here. It's now 9-3. to three. So that one is his third of the game. Now, if you're wondering, that's only halfway to his career high as he once had six oh, field oh, goals. Oh, Brandon, six? 
Let's hope we don't get that again, <laughs> please. Okay, can, can we see a few touchdowns here and there? That'd be nice. After the field goal now, it's Bullock to kick it away. This will be taken in at the one. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29-yard line. Out now the Chiefs offensive unit ready to do battle again. Start with Hunt on the ground. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. It'll be a gain of 10 to start the drive out. And by a few inches, that'll be a first down. Mahomes now on first down. Caught here by Conley. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Mahomes to throw on second down. And he's going to dump this off to his running back, Hunt. Call it a gain of seven, and it gets him a new set of downs. First down now, but that clock rolling. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. And he'll be taken down by the Bengal pressure. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense as he'll stop it with exactly a minute to go before halftime. Second and 14 as they've got work to do here after the sack. Here we go now. Green, 90. Hunt gets it on the draw for Mahomes. Absolutely nobody fooled there. He's going nowhere fast as he stopped behind the line of scrimmage. So two plays with only negative yardage to show, and now it's third and 16. Here we go now. Green. Now Hunt. And a nice move will yield nothing as he's stopped behind the line. And now the Bengal defense here calling a timeout as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Here's Dustin Colquitt now, as he's on to punt for Kansas City. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. Now this Bengals offensive unit, ready to see what they can do here. And we'll see how this is played. Offensively, they've got the lead. Not a whole lot of time left. What do you think, Charles? Well, it's tempting to try and add to your lead, but a mistake there, that could change things in a big way. I say go ahead, take the knee, Get on out for the half. Now Dalton with a first and 10. That's complete to John Ross. And this one will go to the 28-yard line. And before the second down play, we'll get a whistle, a signal, and a timeout. As they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. Lee, 
Here's a give to Mixon. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. At five yards on the play there as the drive will continue. At this stage of the game, the run pass numbers are a little bit out of whack because most of the yardage has come through the air. But in a sense, that just sets things up for big runs like that because the defense might be a little bit off balance. They pick up another first down with that run. And now we won't see a play on first down. We're going to get a timeout instead as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. The first down throw coming for Dalton. And that will be incomplete with a clock showing 18 seconds now to go. That one didn't quite make it to the target, but that's not always a function of the strength of the arm of the quarterback, is it? Sometimes there's just too much pressure there. In any case, the ball doesn't arrive. Second and 10 from the 33-yard line. Mix it. And he'll get this one up to about the 39 here. They get six here after the incompletion, and it'll leave them with a third and four. So we have reached halftime here, and it's the visiting Bengals out in front. As we'll send you down to Orlando, and we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. This is taken at his four. <laughs> and a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Here comes the Chiefs offensive unit as they'll have it to begin quarter number three. These guys had to punt last time. It has not been a very fruitful game offensively thus far. They haven't even made a trip to the red zone. And I know that everyone's going crazy on that sideline because that drives you berserk to come off the field, not really move the ball well. As you said, not even get to the red zone, let alone, you know, not even put points on the board. They got to just take a deep breath, relax, try to figure out what is working, and call more of that. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. Well, you had to punt on your first drive, and on the first play of the second drive, you end up going backwards. I would dare say they need something good to happen right here, right now. So the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. Here we go. Three. They run again with Hunt. Only a couple there as he'll be brought down about the 28. Tough first half for him, unable to put up the numbers he's used to producing. But with a guy like him, you and I both know it just takes a couple of explosive touches for him to make an impact on this game and on the stat sheet as well. Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. Here we go now. Blue 45. The pressure drops off as they'll look to throw. And incomplete. He had nowhere to throw, so he just tossed it away. But that brings up fourth. We've seen these defenses make enough opportunistic plays to keep this one low scoring. Flying around, making plays on the ball. And we see yet another errant throw as a result. Here's Dustin Colquitt now as he's on to punt for Kansas City. This is taken at the 15. <laughs> A very good return that time. 18 yards. And possession will switch. Hands first and 10. So here are the Bengals now as they get their first possession of this second half. They were able to get the ball back here. Didn't surrender any points. Now they'll look to add to that lead. Now how about the boost the defense gave them? Going right out on the field, shutting them down, not giving up any points, and turning the ball back over. They want to do their part now and show them a little respect and some gratitude by scoring some points. And to get a little more cushion. Found a little room there as he's up to about the 37. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. 
sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. Dalton throwing on second down. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Boyd. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. That one goes for 24 yards. So how do you beat man coverage? First of all, you want to be a superior receiver, but you know something, that guy who's covering you, he's usually pretty good too. So the corner route is usually a great spot to get it done. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Mixon. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. Yeah, give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Now, they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse, and I believe he'll eventually reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game. Looking to throw on second down. Dalton looking middle, and it's incomplete. John Ross, the one he was looking for. And yeah, that'll make it third down. So pretty good coverage there, and both of these defenses, they've had good coverage throughout this one. No doubt about it. And in today's NFL, where we're used to a bit more scoring, this feels almost like a well-pitched game in baseball on both sides, where the tension continues to build. Who's going to make the big play? Third down, a shot here for Dalton. Got a man, it's Ross, complete. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. The Bengals passing game finding a rhythm. They've got another first. They go back to the ground now with Mixon. And he's going to push his way down to about the 12. Give him nine on the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. They'll stay on the ground, mix it again, and he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. They give him two yards there as they're set up now with a first and goal. It's nice every now and then in this game not to see people overthink it. Just hand it to the old reliable guy, let him pick up the first down. Three red zone trips have yielded just two field goals for them to this point, so they'll be searching for something more on second and goal here. Dalton now to pass. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. It's the sack master, Justin Houston, who comes up with it. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Here's a carry for the fullback. That's Anthony Sherman. And he was very fortunate there to get out of his end zone. He maybe got back to the two-yard line. The stop for no gain brings up second and 10 from the 20. Here we go. Blue 45. Blue 45. And they will not get the snap off here. This is going to back them up halfway. They're inching closer and closer here to the wrong goal line. When you're backed up like that, all you're trying to do is make sure you don't give up a big play, right? You don't miss an assignment that really gets you into more trouble. This is Hunt. 
Oh, and he's not going to make it out of the end zone. The push too strong, and that'll be a safety. And you know, the man who sat in my chair the last few years, he has a theory. These plays, these safeties, they're so rare. Maybe they should be worth more than two, maybe four points. I think he's got a great point. I really do, Brandon. But I would go ahead and up it to six. I'm a former defender. Oh. To me, that's like scoring a touchdown. Easy now. I'll go four. I don't know about six. Come on, come on. Come up to six. <laughs> a lot of points. Now the free kick comes after the safety from the 20 as they bring the punter on to try and get some hang time here. So they will accept the penalty and move forward. So here's Dalton and the Bengals now, first and 10, right at the 30. It's Mixon on the counter. Now he opts for the spin. He takes this from the 30 to the 34. Tough running there. That's a hard earn four yards. Yeah, those are the unsung kind of runs. They don't fill up the stat sheet, but they do set you up in good position on second down. on the draw to Mixon. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. It's a nine-yard gain, and it keeps the drive moving. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. On first and ten, here's Andy Dalton. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. Well, while we have a second, wanted to touch on a new program that's making its debut that's got a lot of people excited, Charles. It's the Madden 99 Club. Now, what that is, gives special recognition to those guys with an overall rating of 99. Of course, that's as good as it gets. So through a partnership with our friends at Nike, you're going to see custom, one-of-a-kind, gold 99 Club cleats and gloves reserved for guys like Antonio Brown, Gronk, and Luke Kiefer. And you and I were fortunate enough to get an early sneak peek. And I'll tell you, for my money, Really cool thing that they're doing. Sharp, sharp look. And how cool would it be for those guys to be part of that exclusive club and have something that no one else in the league has that signifies them as 99s. That's pretty cool. And the Bengals on third down. They've hit on half of them. Five for ten. This is third and ten. Dalton here from the gun. And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. We've seen good cover skills on display throughout this game, really from both teams. And there's another nice example there of them making it difficult to complete a pass. Here's Kevin Huber now as he's on to punt for Cincinnati. And that one hits a little too close to the goal line. And it continues into the end zone for a touchback. And now here comes Kansas City. And last time they surrendered the safety, we know they don't want to do that again. That is just one of those oddities in scoring that we get. And it's just so strange to see that go up on the board. And then you've got to make sure that that doesn't happen to your team again. They've got to take care of the ball. But boy, it juices up the defense. Oh, without a doubt. That's a great Three, way to score some points. Mahomes now on first down. Looking for Watkins, and it's intercepted. William Jackson with a pick. Watkins, the intended receiver. Well, this had trouble written all over from the start. He's got two extra defensive backs in the game he's got to deal with. They're in a dime set. So everywhere he's looking, he's seeing a different colored jersey. And sure enough, this one winds up being intercepted. Allen Bailey in on the stop. Not a big run on the first play of the drive, but that doesn't necessarily mean it was a bad play. Sometimes you're just trying to settle in, get your guys a little bit of contact, and get things moving. Eight, eight. Second down, Dalton. 
And this is caught at the eight. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the seven. His fifth catch tonight, and it's good for a first down. But that's what you're looking for when you want to throw the ball downfield. You want one of those guys who can play out on the perimeter, can play out wide, who can not only get open, but when they're covered, can uncover themselves downfield and create catches. Out of the gun, it's Dalton. And for a third time tonight, he's intercepted. Picked off here by Anthony Hitchens. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. As much football as we watch, we've seen this work many times. In the red zone, first down, take a shot at the end zone, and points result. In this case, though, give credit to the defense. They outguessed them, were prepared, and intercepted the pass. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. That one goes for 36 yards. Well, they've been struggling in the passing game. Do you like the aggressiveness there? I mean, it worked on that play, but do you like it? I do because a lot of the time you're struggling because your passing lanes are clogged. That usually happens when you're throwing the ball underneath. People start to press up on you. Push them deep, find some space, and open things up again. Being aggressive there, I think, will pay off for them. He goes full extension, and he's got it. The Chiefs have got the passing game rolling a bit, and another first down. When you're a player of his stature, you don't just circle the games on your team's calendar. You circle, circle the Pro Bowl? <laughs> without a doubt. <laughs> that's a game that you just figure you're going to be in each and every year. That's because of catches like that. That's why he goes. Mahomes now. 8 of 17 so far, under 50%. Mahomes now to throw. And almost intercepted. It would have been his second pick of the game. Instead, it'll be second down. Hank's almost going to get in the QB 1-0 when he gets to the sideline. Already thrown an interception. That one should have been picked. Look, let's just be honest about it. That would be the second person in his ear because he's hearing it in the huddle right now. Not the start to the game he wanted. Like you said, the pick on the opening drive, second drive, not much better. Blue 45. Blue 45. Up. Back to the air on second down. It's Mahomes. The tight end, Kelsey, has it over the middle. And he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. They'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down. They really love to get him into one-on-one -on -one opportunities, and this is one way, work him out of the slot and create a mismatch. Who's going to cover him? Corner, safety, linebacker? He's got a way to beat all of those positions. Came up a little short on the last pass play. They did get nine yards out of it, leaving him with his third and one. Now it's Hunt, and he's going to be stopped up right at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain that time, and they're going to be left looking up at a fourth and one. He continues to struggle to find a crease to break off a big one and might need to just put that aside and just try and ram his way forward and get what he can. And for the second time tonight, this field goal unit comes out here. From the right hash and call it an even 50 yards. And the kick by Butker is good. And they will get the deficit down to five. It's 11 to six. These kickers now, it's like we take them for granted. Kicks like that used to be such a big deal, and now you just expect them to make it. Yeah, you're exactly right, and we shouldn't take them for granted, but I have a theory about it. You want to hear it? Yep. They are more athletic now than ever before. Talk about kickers. Trace their backgrounds, trace their histories. You'll find that they were big-time athletes all along, but their kicking was so prevalent that we made them specialists. Well, and now those 50-plus yarders seem easy for some reason. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Cincinnati now ready to take the field. And three interceptions in this game. And I would have to think, I wasn't a quarterback, but number four is kind of, oh, you're like, oh, man, I can't throw four. No, what's interesting is, what do the coaches decide to do now? Having thrown three, do you alter your offensive strategy? Do you take the ball out of his hands and maybe turn to the running game? Or do you have that supreme confidence that he's going to turn things around? <laughs> we'll see what they do. And some room to work. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive. 12 yards. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. First 
First and 10 for Dalton. And that is incomplete here. The tight end, C.J. Uzama, the intended receiver. And that'll bring up second down. Sometimes you just have to take things into your own hands, don't you? I mean, the offense is really struggling in this game. They're the ones keeping things going. They have to continue to play at that level. Line of scrimmage again the 37 as they line up second and 10. They'll run here with Mixon. Looking for an opening, not much there. He'll get it to the 39. He only got a couple on that one, so not a ton of help. They'll have a third and eight forthcoming. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You force the incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? Eight, eight. On third down, Dalton. And he's taken down, a Chiefs sack. Chris Jones, he's the one that gets him down. It'll be a loss of five, and it'll bring up fourth down. Great job defensively. I think he was trying to go through his progressions, find someone to get rid of the football. Before he knew it, he was on his back. So that just brings us right back to what you said in the beginning. A great job defensively. Nowhere to go with the football. That led to the sack. Here's Kevin Huber now, as he's on to punt for Cincinnati. It'll be a 51-yard punt that time. And the Chiefs are going to take over with a long field ahead and a first and 10. And now here comes Kansas City. And fortunate to get points on the board last time. They had to hit a really long field goal to do so. The kickers in today's game are so good and so skilled and hit from distances that we almost start to take them for granted. Mm -hmm. And we can't do that. That's a long field goal that they got three points out of. They've got to feel good about that. And they better make sure they love him up because he's helped them out. Yeah, now we'll see if that offense can put six on the board here. We'll see. That throw good for four. It's second down. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. Here we go, green, 39. Working from the gun, Mahomes. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. Travis Kelsey, the Pro Bowl tight end, the intended target, and that takes us from second to third down. Charles, I think back to your earlier statement about the visitors being the underdogs needing to win that turnover battle. And this defense, they forced two turnovers so far. Big reason why they lead this game. Yeah, and I know defenses always talk about getting turnovers in bunches, getting those takeaways. Two's not a bunch, but it's plenty in this game. Exactly the formula they need. But I got to tell you, partner, I like it when you think back to something I said. It actually comes true. It's actually right. It happens more often than you might think. It'll go as a gain of 10 and a Kansas City first down. Here we go. Green, 90. On first down, Mahomes. He's got Watkins on the out route. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. Play fake here on first down. And for a third time tonight, he's intercepted. William Jackson with a pick. And the return this time will go out to the 42-yard line. Brandon, offensively, this has been a tough day for him. Trying to find a place to throw the football. It's been extremely difficult. I've got to give a lot of credit to the secondary, especially the corners who have had the receivers on lockdown. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. Well, how about this aggressive approach? Got the lead, fourth quarter, continuing to throw the football. Are you thinking about Super Bowl 51? <laughs> Atlanta had the lead against New England, and just, they ended up giving it up. I was going to say, don't say it, but you did say it. it I did, didn't I? Yeah, anybody watching Atlanta, our apologies. Mixon with it. And he'll get this down only to about the 46. Hey, hey, hey. 
The all-pro Justin Houston in on the tackle. Offensively with the lead, you want to run the ball, keep the clock going, but you also want to still kind of be in attack mode too, right? So how do you do that and not come back on your heels? Yeah, think about all the practices we've watched where they have that tempo period to go over things just like this, where they describe the scenario, tell you what they're looking for, and make sure that they're still attacking, yet at the same time not going so fast as to leave too much time on the clock. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. That catch good for five. It's third down. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. From the gun on third down, Dalton. He's got his man, Boyd. And he's going to get this down near the 30-yard line. 12 yards there as they keep this drive rolling. It's another first down. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down. Went his way. It worked out. Doesn't matter whether they've scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. Now Mixon. And he'll take this inside the 30 to about the 29, maybe the 28-yard line. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. And in this situation with the lead fourth quarter, they're liking keeping the ball on the ground, I'm sure. That's just smart football, but you know the defense has to know it as well. They've got to stop them here. So now we're going to see that loading the box in a big way. Six, seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take. It's a little bit more pressure on your big offensive line. And he'll get about four as he's brought down at the 24. All right, that's a decent game there, but it hasn't been his best game overall. So I wonder what the mindset is of his team. Do they want him to handle the football and try and close this game out? Or are they going to make an alternative plan and maybe go in a different direction? Uh, I think they need him, and this is his time to shine. Dumps it off to Mixon. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22-yard line. It'll be a pickup of just two, and that's going to make it fourth down. One hallmark of good defenses is understanding the game, understanding positioning, and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. Got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield. And Bullock will put this one through. And that'll make this an eight-point game at 14 to six. But from a defensive perspective, though, I think maybe they're saying, hey, we did what we needed to do, kept this a one-score game. Yeah, without a doubt, because they were able to bleed some time off the clock, right? Put themselves in a good position, but it's not out of reach yet, okay? Being able to hold them to a field goal means that they do have a chance to come back and win this game. After the field goal now, it's Bullock to kick it away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And all that work, but he stopped where he ultimately would have been, and he simply taken a knee, and that's the 25-yard line. And now here comes Kansas City. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Here we go. Green, 39. Green, 39. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. Five yards on the catch there. Brings up second down. First play of the drive in their hip pocket. Of course, the focus here has to be the touchdown of the two-point conversion. Field goals aren't going to help you. Yeah, but how about that first play of the drive? Just to get them started, nice gain, get some positive momentum going. They're on their way, and they don't have to rush. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. Ready, blue 45. On second down, here's Mahomes. And this is incomplete. Coverage there by the former first-round pick, William Jackson. 
And we just saw another example. These cornerbacks have played tight coverage all game long. Might start wanting to think about a few double, triple move routes to try and shake their guys free. They have, you're right, they have had no room to breathe. They come up now, third and five, following the incomplete pass. Play, blue 45. From the gun, it's Mahomes. To the right side, it's Kelsey. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. They stop him for only three that time, and that'll bring up fourth down. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. You're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. Taking it about the 16. An eight-yard return there after a punt of 47. And out will come the offense as they take over. Cincinnati now ready to take the field. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're, they're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Trying to sit on a lead and play that way, that doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Run what you do best. Exactly. Put it all the way down and try to increase your lead in a big way. And the best way to do it, touchdowns. Green with a catch left side. And he's brought down after a very nice gain. A good pick up there, 26 yards. Well, they had held him pretty well in check, but if you recall back in the first quarter, you said they needed to avoid the big play. He finally gets loose. And the thing about it, it doesn't have to be a bunch of big plays. Sometimes one big play can be enough. That's why it's tough to deal with a guy like that. This is Mixon, and he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Run blitz there defensively, something we might see more of here in the fourth quarter. I think we'll see a lot of it, and the difference between that and a pass blitz, pass blitz, you're just trying to get to the quarterback. You're trying to scheme someone open who will get to the QB and make sure he gets on the ground. In a run blitz, you're actually trying to cover up gaps, trying to cover up holes so they can't run the football. Andy Dalton, and that's going to be too high, out of bounds and incomplete. All right, that one fell incomplete there, but the best quarterbacks, they'll miss on 40% of their throws somewhere in that neighborhood, similar to a great hitter in baseball who's going to fail seven out of ten times and still have a great year. In this case, you want perfection, but way better that it hits the ground instead of going to an opposite color jersey. to throw on third down. Dalton. And incomplete on the deep ball. Oh boy, partner, did that just happen? I've got my hand over my eyes right now because like, like him, it's gonna haunt my dreams too. He was wide open. How did he overthrow him there? Uh, defensively, just very lucky. You know that they got away with one there. Here's Kevin Huber now, as he's on to punt for the fourth time tonight. So now here are the Chiefs as their offense makes their way back out onto the field and hoping to do better than they did their last possession when they punted the football. Appeal to the vanity of your offensive line. Tell them that they control your fate. Leverage guys. Win the line of scrimmage. If you do that, you start to win first down. You win second down. And guess what? You start accumulating first downs, and that's what they need in order to not punt the ball again. Ready. Blue 45. Blue 45. Mahomes now on first down. They'll go screen here to Hunt. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage back at the 22. It'll wind up being a loss of two. And that'll make it second and 12. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 90 yards receiving now for him in the ball game. It's a first down. This possession means so much for them. They've got to focus on this drive and find a way to make this a one-possession game. Yes. Got to get a score. Yeah, so good with a field goal. Don't necessarily need a touchdown. On first and ten, here's Mahomes. 
The bagel pressure gets him that time. Down he goes. Carlos Dunlap in there to drop him, and it'll be a loss of about eight. You never want to give up a sack. From the O-line's perspective, they hate it for several reasons, especially because they felt like they let little brother down back there in the pocket. Oh, no doubt. They have a ton of pride, and they go into every job wanting to keep that guy clean. They want that uniform with no grass stains, no dirt, nothing on it. But it's really, really difficult. You're talking about some terrific athletes who are trying to put him on the ground. It's a pickup of 12, and that'll set up a third down. They had the catch on second down, but it didn't help at all. And now they're looking at third down here. Here we go now. Green, 39. Green. Throwing now is Mahomes. And it's complete to Kelsey. And he's got the first down before being taken down at the 46. Eighth catch for him now. He's been a big factor. And it's a first down. Looking left sideline, but it's incomplete. He was looking for Tyreek Hill that time. That'll bring up second down. So he's unable to complete it there, and just not the game that you would expect from him. He's been off the mark, really, start to finish. Yeah, it makes you wonder what exactly is going on. Is he a little bit dinged up here, or is he just off just by a bit? Maybe he can get it back in this situation. He'll need to. Here we go. Green, 39. Green. He's back to throw. On target over the middle of the hill. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. They'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. Figuring they're going for it on fourth down. Remember, though, they do have all three timeouts, so even if they don't get it, all is not lost. Yeah, normally in this situation, when you're talking about having to go for it, everything is in this play. But as you noted, with those three timeouts, they actually have a little bit of a safety net. One score down. Here we go. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. Green, green, 39. Green, 39. This is Hunt. Oh, and I think he went backward. He did. They had to go for it with such little time remaining, and the Bengals will get the football back. So the defensive front holding strong there on fourth and inches. And how about the battle of big people up front? That turned into a leverage game, didn't it? Defensive linemen, they won it. Lower than the offensive guys, pushed them back, knifed through, and made a great play. Here's Joe Mixon as they start on the ground. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Now here's a defensive timeout called by the Chiefs. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. Four down, four down. Check. Lead. Lead. Back to Mixon on first down. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. And the Chiefs are going to signal for and be granted another timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. You'd have to think likely another running play coming here, second and 11. They'll run with Mixon. And he'll be taken down just shy of midfield. And now we're going to get a timeout here called by the defense. As they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down.
On the run, it's Mixon. Call it no gain there, and it leads to a fourth down. Well, he didn't make headway on that one, but he's had plenty of carries all night long. I just wonder if maybe he's a little bit tired from toting the rock that much. Here's Kevin Huber now, as he'll come on for his fifth kick of the night. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. And now here comes Kansas City. One possession game, <laughs> time very much a factor. How does the offense handle this situation? Well, in a lot of cases, they should be somewhat relaxed. And I know that's counterintuitive because this is a pressure situation. But this is Friday practice every week of the season. You go over this situation, having to go downfield, limited timeouts, got to get out of bounds and keep the drive going and set yourself up. Defensively, you can't just lay back and let them do whatever they want. So it is a cat and mouse deal here. How much pressure will the defense bring and how much pressure can the offense handle? We're going to find out. Well, how about keeping your head about you in this situation? No more timeouts. Finds a way to get out of bounds. Now they can breathe a little bit as they contemplate what to do on the next down. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Back to throw. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. Nick Vigil in there to take him down. And the clock will roll. And now he stops it with a spike at eight seconds. And it's incomplete. So now only seven seconds remain. So after all of this, it comes down to one final play. And just think of what it's going to be, because from this distance, you've got to be prepared for everything. Hook and laterals, tip balls, you name it. A lot of laterals after a catch. Just got to be prepared, stay on your feet defensively, and tackle someone. Green, green, 39. Green, 39. One final try for Mahomes. And it's incomplete. So their final drive comes up empty. And with that, the ball game is over. A road win in the National Football League. Charles, you never take that for granted, no matter who you're playing, no matter where you're playing. You take it and you run with it. <laughs> and you know you prime the pump all week in your own home facility. No one thinks we can do this. Only people who believe are right here in this room. And then you go on the road, band together, and get it done. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hardworking men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. With that, we say good night from Kansas City.